Hey, it's Shani with another episode of 40 Over 40. 40 minutes of exercise for anybody over 40. Yes, this one is for the grown folk. Now, I'm going to be doing it with you. Don't worry about it. If you need a break, take the break. Rest when you have to. We're going to laugh together. Maybe we'll cry together, but we're going to enjoy the experience. All you need today, a pair of dumbbells, a jump rope if you have one. If you don't have a jump rope, you can pretend to skip. We're going to be working biceps and triceps, more upper body today. So we're going to start by rolling out the ankles. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Roll out those ankles, big circles. I always start by lubricating my joints, making sure they're mobile. Yeah, sometimes things get well stiff in here. <laughs> Other side, big circle out. So this entire 40 minutes of exercise, I do the whole thing with you. Right? We take breaks when we have to, and believe me, we'll get through it. Now, butt kicks. Oh yeah, I'm sore in my thighs from the last workout. Roll out the wrists. Roll them inward. I'm hearing everything cracking. Yeah, the beauty of, <laughs> of our aging bodies. Hands up. Flat back over. Hands towards the floor. You're going to roll up nice and slowly. Again, big breath in. Interlock the fingers. Reach all the way up. Flat back. Breathe into the hamstrings. All the way down. Mm -hmm. And up. Roll out your shoulders. All the way back. Roll them forward. Now, I'm going to grab my jump rope. And when we're skipping, which is not the easiest thing for some people, you see the thickness of the rope? A rope is not very thick. This is how far you need to jump off the floor, that thickness. So stop trying to fight like you're trying to get all the way to the ceiling. I lift up your foot, I kick your bottom. Not necessary. That's the thickness. You want to keep your hands by your hips. We want to keep our hands low when we're skipping. Right by your hips. Listen to the click of the rope. Energy comes from the crown of the head as we skip. So we're going to try and skip for roughly one minute. Okay? That's what we're doing. That's the warm-up. One minute skipping. Here we go. Tummy tight. Knees soft. And listen to the click of the rope. And just breathe. Don't labor it. Don't fight it. As I hear the click, I jump. Make it rhythmical. Just breathe. Keep your core tight. Now, something you need to know, spinning detoxifies you. So if you feel like you need to pee, that's okay. It tends to happen. It also happens if you have a weak pelvic floor. Something very common with being over 40. Something common if you've had kids. This is where we practice our kegels. Breathe. Oh yeah, heart rate going up. About 10 more seconds. Oh yes, I haven't skipped in a while. I feel that one. Oh, heart rate is high. Catch your breath. Try and lower your heart rate by controlling your breathing. We're now going to take it into inchworms. You're going to turn sideways. You want to try and touch the floor without bending your knees. If you lack flexibility, open your legs a bit. This is what an inchworm looks like. Reach down, walk it out into a plank, push your butt back, Stand. Are we ready? <sighs> Going for 15. Here we go. Tummy tight. And walk it out. Tailbone under. Walk it back. <sighs> Two. Push back. Feel that nice stretch in your hamstrings. Three. 
Don't sag in your hips. Four. All the way out. Tailbone under. Five. Good. Six. Keep your tailbone tucked under. Seven. Eight. Don't slouch in the shoulders. Nine. Ten. Five more to go. Four more. That's it. Three more. Come on, stick with me. Belly button to spine, two more. Last one. Excellent job. Believe me, everything we're doing together, they're gonna to be effective and you will feel it, trust me. All right, catch your breath. We're gonna go nice and slow and simple. This is like from back in the day. Remember those circles? Small circles with our hands. Let me even come closer to you. I'm in it with you. You're gonna give me 10 circles, small forward, 10 medium, 10 big, reverse it. So we're warming up all of the upper body, the shoulders, the arms, Oh yes, no weights in hand. Tummy tight, knee soft, tailbone under. And forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Medium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bigger. One, we slow the count. Two. Three, get those shoulders involved. Four, five, six, breathe. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, mm, two, three. Quick, 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 quick. Four, five. I need some WD 40. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here comes the burn. Medium, back ways. One, Two, three, four, come on, five, six, I'm right here, seven, eight, nine, ten. The stupidest things burn so much. Three, come on, four, small ones, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh God, it's crazy how that little foolishness can burn your shoulders like that. Grab your water. I made sure to have my water today. I left it the last time. Yeah. So that's the first round. We got two more rounds to go. Grab your jump ropes. Stay committed. Stay focused. One minute of skipping, okay? Tummy nice and tight. Listen to the click of the rope. Keep your hands low. And. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. We're right there. We don't have to be exact, okay? Oh, sweet Jesus. That's about the minute. Here we go. Inchworms. Tummy nice and tight. We're going to walk it out. Feel the stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Control your breathing to let your heart rate go down. 
Walk it out. Tailbone under, that's one. Breathe into the hamstrings. Two. Your breathing is directly control related to your heart rate. Three, so your breathing controls your heart rate. Four, so if you wanna lower your heart rate, slow your breathing. Five. Come on, we got this. Six, tuck your tailbone, belly button pull to spine. Seven, a plank is an abdominal contraction. Eight, press the floor away from you. Nine, Ten, really commit to that stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Five more. Four more. Awesome. Three more. Oh yeah. Two more, we're right there. Quitting is not an option, guys. Come on. And one. Uh-huh. I can feel it. Now, those simple little circles, that's gonna burn like hell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Medium. One, two, come on. Three, I'm right there with you. Four, five, belly button spine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now big. One, reach up. Two, three, we got this. Four, five, big circles. Six, seven, get the shoulders involved. Eight, you'll see why. Nine, ten. So all the working biceps, triceps. They are connected to our shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Nine, ten. Yes, here's a burn, sweet Jesus. Medium. Two, three, four. My shoulder won't drop off. Five, six, seven, eight. We got this. Nine. 10, this is a finisher, one, the small ones, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, uh-huh, drink your water. With this heat, believe me, you need to be drinking as much water as you can, and I'm a horrible water drinker. So these are the things that help me. When I'm videoing, <laughs> everything for the gram or for YouTube, which is the platform I'm using, I'll drink my water for you guys on YouTube. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have one more round of warm up. This is still warm up, guys. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. We're going to slow it down after. And we're going to pick up the weights. Yeah, man, the sweater come now. So one minute, skipping, 15 inch arms and shoulder rolls. 30 forward, 30 back, 60. Yeah, so it takes about a minute. It takes about a minute. All right, here we go, tummy tight. One minute, keep your hands low. Energy comes from the top of your head and Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. 
God bless my minutes. And 60. Oy, oy, oy. Inchworms. Here we go. Let's slow the breathing. Yeah, skipping really pushes up the heart rate and skipping detoxifies you. It naturally pulls toxins out of your body because repetitive jumping actually, for lack of a better word, milks your lymphatic system. So it gets your lymphatic system to really function efficiently and helps your body to expel toxins. So it may make you want to pee because we normally pee out toxins. And if you have an incompetent bladder, you have incontinence, weakened pelvic floor, you may feel that heavy pull. You have to practice your Kegels. Engage those Kegel muscles. Tummy tight. Here we go. Whenever we do Kegels, I like to say we what? We quint it. Oh, yeah. And all the way. Walk it out. This is inchworms. Tummy tight. Push back. That's one. Remember, if you need to open your legs, push back. Because you don't have the flexibility to touch the floor. Open your legs. Be gracious to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Three. And as your flexibility increases, four. Then you're able to close your legs more for this particular exercise. Five. Make sure I'm in the frame. Six. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't have a cameraman. <laughs> Seven. So I use my phone for everything. Eight. So I need to keep my ass in the frame. Could the frame not follow me? Nine. Come on, tailbone under. Abdominal contraction. Ten. Keep it tight. Five more. Breathe. Four more. We're right there. Three more. Then we're going to slow it down for the round of exercises. Two, the weighted exercises. And last one. One. Tailbone under. Hold it. Press the floor away from you. Belly button to spine, and walk it in. Here comes our circles. Slow the breathing. Arms out, tummy tight, straight into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Medium. One, two, pull that belly button to spine. Three, four, don't forget about your core. Five. Six, shoulders down, seven, chest broad, eight, nine, ten. Now big and slow, one, two, three, four, five, that's it, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First 30 is easy, ten, nine, eight, the burn comes now, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, medium, one, two, shoulders down, three, let it burn, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh Jesus, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, do you feel it? I sure as hell feel it. Sip your water. Now we're going to be going into supersetting. Two exercises, back to back, three rounds. Now whenever you're working muscles, you always want to work an agonist and an antagonist. For example, biceps and triceps. Or if you're doing legs, quads and hamstrings. Or chest and back. You want to work yin and yang. Front and back, yes? Up and down, you get the concept. Because you want to work your body in a balanced way. 
balance is everything. You can't be tight in the front and relaxed in the back. That's an imbalance. You create injury and you create pain. So even when you're working out by yourselves, guys, always think agonist and antagonist. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pick up the weights you can manage. We're going into bicep curls. Now, you always want to straighten your hand at the end of your bicep curls. So we're actually going to start with something called 21s. So first, I'm going to break it up. The first seven bicep curls will be half, from mid to lower. Second seven, from mid to upper. The third seven, full range. So we're going for 21 bicep curls. Choose your weight wisely. I may have been ambitious in choosing my weights because I have 15 pounds for this one. Here we go. I have a second set. So if I need to switch out, I will. If I need to switch out, I will. But I'm going to work with you. My true workout, so we'll die together. Tummy tight, knees soft, chest up. So we're going to lift halfway and one, down, keep your elbows by your waist, two, three, if I turn sideways, four, my elbow stays by my waist, five, six, straighten at the bottom, seven, stop, now we're going up, one, but don't touch your shoulders, two, when you touch your shoulder, that's rest, three, Four, we want to keep tension on the bicep. Five, good. Six and seven, stop. All the way now, release, chest up. One, keep your knees soft. Two, press through your heels. Three, oh yeah. Four, belly button to spine. Five, six. Come on, last one, straighten at the bottom. Seven, beautiful. There we go. So, supersetting, two exercises. So we just did a bicep exercise. We're gonna do a tricep exercise. We're going to do tricep kickback. So with a flat back, you're gonna pull the elbows in nice and high. We're going to kick the arms behind us. Trying to keep your arms parallel Floor and ceiling. So I don't want it down. Get the elbows high. Extend. Think of you're creating a straight line between your arm and the floor or your arm and the ceiling. All right? Full extension. Am I going to try the 15s for these? Sweet Jesus. All right. So we did 15. No, we did 21s. Now we're going to do 12 reps. 12. Choose your weights wisely. I may drop down my weights on the second round. So roll your shoulders back, hinge from your hips, pull your elbows in, belly button to spine, kick back and one, in, two, good, three, elongate your neck, four, keep your elbows pulled into your body, five, don't splay them, six, come on, seven, Eight, shoulders away from the ears. Nine, 10, two more, and one. Oh yeah, all are here. I can feel that. So I want you to remember something. Your neck is an extension of your spine. So you see when you're hinged over, do not be down here, do not be looking up. You want a long, straight spine. The spine don't end yes, so it goes all the way up to the base of your skull. So you want your neck in line with your spine. By putting a crick in your neck, you can actually hurt yourself. And don't look to the side either. Eyes look straight down. We're going again. 21s. So pick up the weights. <clears throat> Belly button to spine. Chest lifted. Halfway and one, two, 
three, breathe, four, control, five, six, last one, seven, hold. Remember your elbows are by your waist, up top, one, halfway, two, don't bend your wrist, three, keep your wrists locked out, four, nice and strong, five, six, seven, stop, all the way down, straighten your hands at the bottom, seven, six, come on, five more, four more, pull that belly button to spine, press three heels, three more, mm. two more, oh yo yo, one more, oh yeah, We're gonna go straight into tricep kickback. I just wanna take this sweat out of my eye. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tummy nice and tight. Remember, your neck is an extension of your spine. Hinging from your hips, retract the elbows, elongate your neck. Neutralize your lower back. And one, in, two, Keep the elbows high. Three, flat back. Four, tummy tight. Five, a little hole at the top. Six, seven, just breathe. Eight, keep the elbows into the body. Nine, ten, two more. Two, and one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have one more round of those. We're doing good. We're doing good. Check my time. <sighs> Sip your water. Here we go. 21s. Pick up the weights. The last of these. <sighs> yes, I'm tired too. Belly button pulled into spine. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, come on, three, two, we're doing it together, one, up top, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now full range, one, all the way. Here we go, seven, six. You like the weight to get heavier, don't. Five, try not to swing your body. Four, three, mm. two, and one. Oh yes, kickbacks, tricep kickbacks. You know my motto for my studio, for Yasa Fitbox? It doesn't get easier. You simply get stronger. Yeah, I've been doing this for years, and believe me, it never gets easier. But I do feel within my body that I do get stronger, and I'm able to handle more. And then I get heavier weights, and I push. Here we go. <sighs> Flat back. Elbows in, tummy tight, and one, two, keep the elbows high, three, come on, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, mm, one more, mercy, mercy. One ball Cree, don't. We're going into one more set of exercises. These will be a little faster. I'm gonna put the burn on it. So, I was using 15 pound weights before. I'm gonna step it down now to 10 pound weights, okay? Because I still wanna keep form, but I'm adding a little bit of speed. Try and control your breathing. 
We're in it together, guys. Rome wasn't built in a day. I don't expect you to master these exercises on your first go. Chest up, tailbone under. So what we're going to be doing, still bicep curl, but we're alternating frontal curl and side curls. Front curls, side curls. So that rotation has to happen through the shoulders. So you say warm up the shoulders for a reason. Here we go, lifting your chest, elbows by your waist, belly button pulled into spine, press through your heels. Front, side, two, side, so we're going a little faster, three, come on, side, don't snap your, your elbows though, four, side, control, five, side, six, come on, side, seven, straighten, eight, Come on, nine, how many are we doing? 10, let's go for 15, we can do it. Five more, side, four, what was I thinking? Three, two, and one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So we're still supersetting. Still doing agonist and antagonist. Now we're gonna work the triceps. Triceps are made up of three muscles, so you have to work it in different ways to really firm the entire tricep muscle. So we're doing headbangers. I'm gonna stick with the tens for this one because I'm tired. Choose a weight you're comfortable with. So I'm gonna step back so I can stay in frame. We're gonna push the weights overhead. We're gonna turn sideways, just so you can see me. Soft knees, tailbone under. My arms are gonna bend behind me, then straight into the ceiling. But I want my biceps to stay by my ears. That's the hard part. Many people splay open, don't do that. So put the weights together. We're going for 15 reps. I'll turn sideways, hands up. Biceps into my ears, tummy tight, tailbone tucked under. One, up, two, three, four, elbows in, five, chin up, six, tummy tight, seven, eight, nine, headbangers, ten, come on, five more, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This combination of exercises really work. Trust me, you're gonna feel this tomorrow night. We tend to feel the residual soreness up to 48 hours after. So it's not the next day necessarily, two days later. All right, so here we go. Pick up back the weights, front and side curls really open in the chest and get that rotation in your shoulders and squeeze your shoulder blades together when we're opening. We're adding a little speed. Here we go. And front, side, two, side, belly button pull to spine, three, side, four, five, Straighten at the bottom. Six. I'll tell you after why. Seven. Mm. Eight. Side. Just don't lock out your elbows. Nine. Or snap them. Control. Ten. Five more. Five. Mm. Four. Come on, fight it. Three. Two. Ah. One. Oh yes. You see, whenever we do bicep curls and we keep them just here, you're minimizing your range of motion. So you're shortening the bicep muscle. We want to train the muscle to be long and lean from the point of connection all the way to the other. So you want to curl, keeping tension, and you want to straighten all the way. You ever see them Monday? And then look like Popeye, and the muscle goes so, stop here and it flattens down here. 
That's because they're lifting very heavy weights without extending the arm completely. So they've shortened their muscles. It's not very cute. It's not very sexy. We want to train our bodies correctly. Remember the last time I told you, quality over quantity. Yeah, that's where we're about. The quality of exercise. Respect your bodies enough. Train your body right. Here we go, headbangers. That was enough talking for rest. Get my arms in that frame. Elbows in. And one, two, squeeze my bicep to my ears. Three, eyes forward. Four, five, full extension. Six, seven, tummy tight. Eight, nine, ten, five more, four more, three, two, one. I told you this last round was short and sweet. Hmm. Sip your water for me. We're almost there. One more round and it's stretch time. Mm -hmm. Towel off if you need to. So we're going to go straight from the biceps, straight into the triceps. No rest for the wicked. Here we go. Mm. Broaden your chest, soften your knees, tuck your tailbone, elbows by the waist. And one, side, two, side, three, come on, four, press through your heels, five, keep your shoulders down, six, seven, open, eight, Rotate through the shoulder. Nine. Rotate. Ten. Five more to go. Five. Four. We got this. Mm. Three. Press through the heels. No swinging. That's for me too. Two. One. And side. Remember I said straight into it. Hands up. Put the weights together, elbows in, tummy tight. One, up, two, three, elbows into your body. Four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, elbows in, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. We did it. We survived. <sighs> Slowly breathe in. Time to stretch. Good work today. Good work. We're going to roll the wrists out. <sighs> All I'm hearing is crick, 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 crick. <laughs> now, fingers to me. Oh, my hand tired for lift up in the air. We're going to pull the fingers down all the way. Other side, fingers to me, all the way up, pull it down. Mm -hmm. You're going to interlock, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your hands as high as they'll go, giving the shoulders a good stretch, try and close your palms. Now hinge from the hips. And a bend. Can your arms point to the ceiling? Can you allow gravity to help pull them behind you? Can you get your forehead towards your shins? This is all something you can work towards. And lift. Roll the shoulders back. Oh, yeah. There's a quote I recently found that I absolutely love. Roll your shoulders forward. It says, without commitment, there can be no start. And without consistency, there can be no end. Okay? Without commitment, there can be no start. And without consistency, there can be no finale. Basically, you have to start and commit to yourself for any new journey. But a commitment is 
only going to get you started. What's going to allow you to finish, get to the finale, get to the end, is consistency. The only thing that's going to get you to reach your goal is consistency. I know it's hard. I know life is full. Life is busy. Your emotions are all over the place. The pit them are mad you. The husband will drive you crazy. Your job will piss you off. Things happen. Life happens. If you've broken your consistency, it's okay. Just get up and start again. Tomorrow is always a beautiful opportunity to start again. Not next week, not next year. Tomorrow. So you screw up today? There's always tomorrow. Be kind to yourself. Be gracious. Okay, until next time. See you.